it. So this is where we enter the, the twilight zone. But it's a twilight zone, again, everything is a point of observation. A twilight zone to a mainstream journalist will be perfectly bloody logical to someone who's done 50 uh, 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 years or so, or 25 years, or how many years it is of research into something. Um, and uh, this is an important point about perception. One of the greatest ways that humanity is controlled is by the suppression of the sense of the possible. All right, now here's a good story from the next news network. I just have to share this because <laughs> you talk about uh, the White House press secretary, Corinne Jean Pierre, more like cringe Jean Pierre, but <laughs> this is too funny not to share. So just go ahead, check it out. <laughs> And then you tell me how trustworthy is the Democratic Party. <laughs> and now for a next news special report. You've probably heard the old adage, it's better to remain silent than to be thought a fool than to speak and remove all doubt. Well, the world's top comm director, Corinne Jean-Pierre, seems to have missed that memo entirely. We're about to dive deep into her latest Twitter blunder that's not just a simple typo. Oh no, this one might just have exposed the biggest secret of the Biden administration. If you've ever pondered over who has been ghost-tweeting for President Biden today, might be your lucky day. And trust me, you'll want to stick around for our final thought because the implications of this gaffe reach far beyond a simple Twitter faux pas. In the ever-evolving world of politics where every move is scrutinized, a tweet can say a thousand words, and when the White House press secretary tweets as if she were the president, well, let's just say it reveals a lot more than a thousand words. On what seemed like an average Tuesday, Corinne Jean-Pierre took to her Twitter and posted, When I ran for president, I made a promise that I would leave no part of the country behind. The simple oversight? Maybe. But in the world of politics, such slip-ups raise eyebrows and lead to significant speculations. And this was no exception. And for those out of the loop, Jean-Pierre is not the president. She never ran for office, yet for a solid 20 minutes, this tweet lingered on her timeline before being hastily removed. Now, 20 minutes might seem short, but in the world of the internet, it's an eternity. Long enough for netizens to screenshot, share, and come to their own conclusions. Steak gives more fodder to the speculation machine. How often does President Biden personally tweet? And if not him, who holds the reins of his social media presence? We've always had hints, 
like Biden's occasional verbal missteps, but this was a confirmation many never expected to see. If you imagine Biden penning his early morning or late night tweets, but the unwritten rule in politics is to maintain the facade, the appearance that the leader is engaged, even on social platforms. Well, this gaffe, it shatters that illusion. And Twitter, being the melting pot of opinions, had a field day. From sarcastic jabs like Seth Dillon's, this is shocking, no one could have guessed that Biden doesn't write his own tweets, to point of remarks such as the Citizens Free Press tweeting, KJP just tweeted a post meant for Joe Biden. These people couldn't run a lemonade stand. Yes, it was clear this was a feast for Biden's critics. And the Twitter crowd didn't stop there, breaking 911 proclaimed fail. Biden Press Secretary KJP just tweeted a post meant for Joe Biden's Twitter account, highlighting the absurdity of the situation. And Greg Price chimed in with a hearty LMFAO. Some White House staffer forgot to switch accounts. Even Midnight Mitch threw in his take, quipping Press Secretary firing off POTUS tweets from the account like, well, you can see the image he posted here. <laughs> definitely underscoring the perceived clum clumsiness within the White House communications team. Transparency is critical in the political realm. It ensures trust. We all knew at some level that not every tweet from a politician is their own. Aides, assistants, and PR teams play their part. But it's the illusion that matters. A tweet expressing condolences, foreign policy stances, or even a lighthearted comment on a sport game takes on a different tone when we're unsure of its true author. Now, any message from the president's account will be under scrutiny. Who penned it? Whose sentiment is it truly echoing? These revelations further the narrative that President Biden might not be as in control as many would hope. It feeds the skepticism about his actual influence over his administration's operations, further questioning the autonomy of his decision-making. Now, the mistake by Jean-Pierre isn't just a one-off. For many, it exemplifies an ongoing series of blunders. Remember the Maui fire briefing? It was not her finest hour. And critics might ask, how many more chances will she get? But as the narrative goes, it seems that she's shielded from the usual consequences by the very system that preaches fairness. Is this then the new normal for the administration? A time when simple but glaring mistakes in communication become commonplace were those at the helm of information dissemination can't steer clear of easily avoidable pitfalls? Well, one, one might think this level of gaffes from a press secretary, the person tasked with being the communication bridge between the president and the public would be unacceptable. But time and time again, it appears Jean-Pierre continues to defy the odds. In times when trust in politicians is already wearing thin for many Americans, these blunders aren't just about a tweet. They're about credibility. And as we see, once that credibility starts to crumble, it's not so easy to build it back up. At a time when the nation looks to the White House for leadership, clarity, and transparency, these moments do more than raise eyebrows. They raise fundamental questions about the competency and authenticity of those in the highest offices in our land. In the realm of modern politics, perception is reality. The tweets, the posts, the press releases, they're all meticulously crafted to present an image, an idea, a belief. Karine Jean-Pierre's slip paints a broader picture, suggesting cracks in the meticulously curated image of the Biden administration. We all knew politicians had help with their social media, but seeing the curtain pulled back this way forces us to question the authenticity of every single post. Today it's a tweet. Tomorrow, who knows what else might get exposed. As the American people, we deserve transparency, honesty, and genuine representation. This story is a stark reminder that in this digital age, every tweet, every post, every press release counts, and we must keep our eyes wide open, always seeking the truth behind the mask. <laughs> so, controlling the sense of the possible, because if you're doing things out here, and you've got the sense of the possible here, then when people like me say, this is what's going on, that goes, you're bloody mad, that's not possible, that can't be going on. 
Um, and, and the biggest problem is that, and it's not every one of them, by the way. I was talking to one the other day who was uh, very kind of intelligent involved, involved, in, uh, involved in all this. But this, in general, is my experience after uh, 25 years of the uh, perception of the possible of a mainstream bloody journalist. And that's why, that's why people who speak the greater truth and have done throughout the period of the media have invariably been ridiculed and dismissed because that cannot perceive that the possibility that it can be true.